why is the Iowa State Fair so important uh, in presidential elections? And, you know, are, are like who goes to it? What kind of people are even out there? Well, it's important because Iowa is important because Republicans kept Iowa first. Democrats didn't. Uh, Robert F. Kennedy and Mar- Marion Williamson showed up at the, at the state fair, but Joe Biden didn't. Democrats are, are kind of quietly kind of embarrassed about how the last caucus went. Uh, but for Republicans, it's still the first contest. There's, there's a few weeks between Iowa and New Hampshire this year. And everybody except, um, really except Chris Christie, who's doing his own thing, who's running in New Hampshire, every, every other Republican is, is, is focused on that because they want to, if they can't beat Trump, that's their dream, uh, come in the top three, get to the next few states and find a way to beat him from there. There's, there's no yes. way to do that. You can't, you can't like flop in Iowa and do that. That's it's impossible. You can, you can, unless you're Joe Biden, the Democrats, but again, forget the Democrats <laughs> right now. It's not relevant for them. This is all Republicans, the sort of voters who are showing up. Uh, I mean, there are liberals there. It's politically a little bit mixed, uh, but it was much more Republican. Uh, it, 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 I guess like t-shirt politicking than I've seen in the past. You saw <laughs> lots of kind of ho- uh, DIY Trump gear, DIY anti-Biden gear, uh, a lot of patriotic stuff with, you know, the American flag made out of bullets or AR-15s. Mm. Uh, a little more, a little more. I mean, if you just do a political scan of Iowa, it looked like that. It looked like a state that's trending, trending more Republican. So a lot of interest in the Republicans people had known about or heard about. Right, right. They want to start strong. Everyone wants mm. to be, I mean, number two. So, like, let's talk about Trump first. Um, he's still completely overshadowing everybody else leading DeSantis, I guess, by double digits still. Um, but like, how did that feel? Did it feel, did, did everyone feel sort of like genuinely, yeah, Trump, Trump, Trump? Or was it kind of like, I guess we have to Trump, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah. It, 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 that's the good thing about being there is you, can, you hear these opinions, you can follow up with people. Uh, you saw a lot of organic Trump support. Some of it was organized by the campaign, but they organized people who wanted to be there. So right. Trump only was there for about an hour, maybe less. He, he only stopped at three parts of the fair. Uh, oh. you, you can walk around if you want to. You can walk around and be followed by reporters as you go from, you know, the, the rides to one of the, 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 the animal livestock areas to the food. Uh, Trump just went to the pork industry tent where he didn't cook anything, everyone else cooked something. This, this is important, trust me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just do the bare minimum. Uh, he, he went to uh, one of the animal, uh, the livestock areas, then he went to this bar his campaign had put down the $10,000 tab at uh, that Which lasted it, all day. Th- I mean, like, mm-hmm. what a fucking no-brainer move. <laughs> yeah, that was probably the smartest thing any single candidate did. Just, there was a line out the door to be there for, for the Trump party, and there were Trump specials like anti-inflation specials being sold at, at this bar Stierenstein. uh he showed up he spoke for really not that long if you added all his words together five minutes and then he let the rest of the time he had this phalanx of famous florida republicans like matt gates uh and anna polina luna coming in to talk about how great donald trump was and he would give him the mic and they'd say this guy's amazing and then he'd take the mic back etc he dominated with that i mean everywhere he everywhere you know everywhere he was going, uh you heard about him and Ron DeSantis got a crowd. Everyone else got a crowd who, who you've heard of, who you'd expect. Everyone was chased by a ton of media because the usual thing here is how, how do you interact in a, in a crowded setting with lots of people who can vote for you, lots of people who want your attention? Right. Um, that, they've been more cautious. There was less, less eating. Again, it sounds silly, but so many people had embarrassed themselves just ju- biting into a corn dog and, look, and looking silly. Oh, no yeah. one did that. There was not, not, no one didn't want to be in a goofy photo. Everyone else t- treated it like a, you know, like a retail event. Like they do this all the time. I mean, it's instead of going to a diner, I'm in a place with a uh, hundred thousand people uh, over the course of a day baking in the sun. Right. Uh, Did like DeSantis the, like eat a days. corn on the cob with like a fork and knife and just like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody like, saw him eat anything. He, although my colleague Shelby Tapat from Semaphore was at the egg, the egg booth where he put eggs on sticks and just Ooh. the campaign did not include the video of him putting eggs on sticks into it's like roundup of highlights. Uh, <laughs> but but it, you, they gave speeches, uh, or I shouldn't say speeches, they gave remarks to the governor of Iowa, Kim Reynolds, who was having her this kind of friendly soapbox thing. There's, yeah. a, there's a Des Moines Register soapbox where you give a 20 minute speech, you take questions, and then you take questions to reporters. He skipped that, Trump skipped that, Tim Scott skipped that. Everyone else did that and they got some trolling. Um, but no, nothing, nothing fatal. But it was very clear that Donald Trump made people excited. And, and then when you talk to people at the fair, uh, there were a lot of diehard Trump fans who could not be moved. I mean, there were people following around Mike Pence and heckling him. But there were a lot of people who said they love Trump. 
they intended to support him. They were kind of worried about this indictment stuff, but they assumed it was fake and they were gettable. Like you can see why every, every Republican consultant, everyone work, every other candidate looks at this and says, there, there might be a moment when people can yeah. break from this guy. You did hear that a lot. You heard a lot of people saying, yeah, I love Trump, but also I'm really interested in these other people. Now that it, might it mean they're seems, super VP. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it kind of seems like a, for lack of a better term, like a, like a politics nerd thing. Like mm-hmm. if you're like really into politics and you all, I mean, obviously there's fun, sounds like there's semi fun stuff, but you're also like you're shopping, you know, as mm-hmm. someone who's in California, Lola, I think you're in California too. Like, you know, I fucking wish that a candidate would give a fuck about my vote <laughs> like that. Like, yeah, whereas like you go to New Hampshire, like, yeah, I shook Hillary Clinton's hand. Yeah. I talked to Barack Obama mm-hmm. and you're like, what? Like they care about you, but it's, it's when the red carpet is rolled out for voters. It's just fascinating. And, and I think they take advantage of it. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. The folks were worried about indictments because it, you know, you, you see the highlight reel of like Klepper or like the, the good liars going out and getting like mm. the nut jobs, just saying like the nuttiest thing. Was it, you've been covering American politics during the Trump years for a long time. So it's like, yeah. how, how unhinged in comparison Oh, I mean, there were people, <laughs> there was a moment, I mentioned Pence is getting heckled, and there were some people in Trump gear, they had these green hats that said back-to-back Iowa champs, because he won Iowa for, you know, against Hillary, and he won against Biden, and uh, Pence went into this radio station, they were waiting outside for him kind of menacingly, and they started talking to reporters, and one of them was was saying, like, I want the candidate with the most indictments, the most impeachments, like, the, oh the one who God. the deep state like, hates the most. You heard some of that, but what you heard, and it was a flip. So when I was covering Democrats in 2019, I would hear a lot. Somebody would say, like, oh, I love Bernie, or I love Warren, or I love Buttigieg, but I'm worried that the that white guy in Michigan, or, like, my cousin won't like them as much. So I have to right. vote for the electable candidate. And the version of that you hear from uh, Republicans in Iowa is, well, I love Trump, but I have a cousin who can't stand him and he, he he's a Republican but he can't stand Trump so maybe we need somebody who has more appeal like that's the version here it's less less I couldn't vote for him and more I know somebody who finds him irritating and I'm worried about that because yeah 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 like they'll say they think Trump won the election but you follow up on that and people say like they're worried that there'll be some amount of theft and uh, I mean it's almost there's this um I forget who said this but there was this Republican line about how they need to win. I think it was New Cambridge, like above the margin of voter fraud. Like, assume Democrats are stealing some of the votes. You have to win by so much that they can't steal it. And some people internalized it and said, "Well, I'd love a candidate who, if Democrats only steal like five million votes, who can still win?" <laughs> like, <laughs> Trump would lose. Oh God! Yeah. Did you then tell them about the popular vote, Dave? <laughs> oh, they don't care. That. About popular vote. Nobody cares. <laughs> also, in Iowa, I just, I mean. It, this is a thing, I think not a problem for DeSantis, but both, both the thing that affects his campaign is he, if he goes to California, he can rag on California. I can say, look how closed, you know, Disney world, Disneyland was closed. Disney world was open. I was pretty open during the pandemic. I was unemployment super low. I mean, there are a bunch of like people are getting kicked off of Medicaid and all, and those things. If you're like, if you're a conservative though, you're, you've been pretty happy in Iowa in the last, in the last few years. Right. And as, and as far as you know, Donald Trump is super popular because he won by eight points. So right. if convincing you've got people, money, yeah. things are okay. Mm-hmm. But tell me, so yeah, let's talk about DeSantis. Because yeah. mm-hmm. I know there was a plane flying over uh, the fair that said, uh, be likable, Ron, which was There fun. was. Um, there's that a was paid for by the Trump trolling. campaign, yeah. There you go. So buy, buy a plane, pick up the tab. Obviously, they're, they are fund this by swindling seniors um <laughs> out of their money every time the new indictment drops but yeah tell me about ron did you see some like ron heads what are ron heads like yeah they're i mean they're, they're people who love everything trump did and think that there's like a bigger majority you can win they like vivek ramaswamy too there is this attitude that uh everyone more people agree with us than will admit it we just need somebody who as, is dynamic and is younger and is, is, is mm. ready to go. And has in the DeSantis phase, we'll bring up his, uh, b- both the Vake and DeSantis have, you know, young kids and, and like fa- no- normal nuclear families and all this, all this stuff. Uh, they're just Trump guys in 2020 who think that someone else can, can take the torch from him yeah. or they like them so much that they think they should be vi- vi- vice president. But like Ron, Ron guys, I mean, I think, uh, cause so, you, know, you try to talk to people who are not peacocking and wearing a ton of, merch but I, one course. guy ran into had a 10 percent for the big guy shirt you know an anti-biden shirt um 
and he loved he loved DeSantis specifically because he's like, yeah, I know friends in Florida, and they they said it was it was great there. I know I know I know people who went to Iowa from Illinois in the pandemic to escape. Like that's Florida story six sticks with you, but also the and idea. Then they got COVID and they can, died, but anyway, they still got out. Yeah, he didn't say the last time they talked to them. He, he didn't say <laughs> they, went, they went to Florida. And they liked it. Uh, that's kind of the the answer. Is like both his record's pretty good and. Hey, if more people like him, that must mean that he's. They don't mention that he like won Florida by twenty points. That whole argument that DeSantis makes in every interview, which I think is fair, they don't know the Florida win record or anything. They just know that he seems to be pretty. He seems to make fewer people angry than Trump does. Right. They know a guy who who loved moving down there. That, that you hear that a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's like all politics. It feels very much uh, less about issues and more about electability. But I am curious about any of those issues, you know, because, you know, what it seems like from from the midterms and from like polling that DeSantis's anti-woke crusade is not really hitting in the way that Donald Trump's, hey, you tried and you want to privatize Medicare and Medicaid, like Mm -hmm. how that's going to be countering him. I mean, not not that they're even on equal footing anymore. I don't know what the fuck we're talking about because Trump's blowing him out of the water. But like, Mm-hmm. Still, what is your sense about that, like, woke stuff? Did, did did you eat Skittles and trigger people because of the new packaging or what? I haven't seen the new packaging. Is Dylan Mulvaney on it or what's the deal? Oh, yeah. No, it's like, it's like a, yeah, there was a sponsor. It was a partnership with Glad organization. It's oh, cute. Okay, it's okay. like, it's like little, little kids have like Black Trans Lives Matter um, things. Anyway. Oh, Lindsay, okay. No, Lindsay I didn't see that. I did. I did too. notice like very little Bud Light being drunk. I mean, lots of like Bush Light had just moved into that market uh, for the light <laughs> beer kings all these places. Yes. Uh, but it, it, it's not that they think DeSantis is too anti woke. Uh, they just think that d- Trump can do that too. That Trump, wow. that Trump is going to be good on those on those issues too. Uh, DeSantis tried this tech. So him and his pack, they're not allowed to coordinate. But they do the same thing. DeSantis literally is riding on the bus and paid for by a super PAC. And they tried something a month ago where they were saying, look, uh, try, it was based on Andrew, Andrew Kaczynski at CNN. Uh, Trump back in 2012 was very positive about trans women competing for Miss Universe. Just oh, right. very good for her. It, uh, digression. <laughs> when we talk about like, do tra- trans people, trans, you know, women having advantage in like swimming. I'm not sure if trans women have advantage in beauty in like the beauty contest, but that was kind of the premise. Like the, he, they're ruining beauty contests by competing in these, in the, in these contests. And the, they ran like Mailer, uh, the same as talking about it. It didn't click. Like no one thought the reason that, uh, my kid in school is getting this, you know, book I don't like is because of Donald Trump saying something 10 years ago, but Trump, you said it, I mean like not just social security, but, um, the, uh, they were trolling during the fair. They were handing out when DeSantis was walking around the, the pork booth, especially like mm-hmm. these flyers about DeSantis voting against like ag subsidies and voting against mm. ethanol and voting. And it'd be terrible for farmers. It'd be terrible for ag. That was one of the arguments they were, they were making about him. It's, it's, it's much more, you know what Trump was like. And, and honestly, it's kind of left out of the coverage because it's it, the coverage is determined what, what the you're talking about. But like Trump was, really popular with farmers. Trump's like trade right. war with mm-hmm. China was really popular with farmers and no one else did that. Like Ron DeSantis can talk about yeah. China now, but a thing that Trump said in the, I'm almost, you know, not kicking myself, but I should have put it more in my coverage is he didn't talk a lot, but he mostly talked about how great I was for you, for you farmers. Not everyone in Iowa was a farmer, but, but the economy runs on it. Like when, when, when farmers are losing money, the whole state suffers. That's a lot of his argument, and there's nothing you can really do. I mean, Mike Pence could say, I was part of that administration, but they basically say, yeah, shut up. And then yeah. they're like, get what happened. Like, we, mean, don't, in, we don't, take, we don't take, give you credit for that. I mean, in that sense, I think DeSantis really does feel like like a soccer mom that decided mm-hmm. to run for fucking president uh, based on, like, yeah, a book that, you know, was in their kid's library. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like mm-hmm. a, a big little lies character. It's just like, this is what everyone cares about. It's like, no, honey, nobody cares about that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, it, it's, it's in like, they don't disagree with DeSantis. They're just like, that's, why is that the difference? We try, it's right. a lot, Trump like, can like do that stuff, that stuff here. Yeah, that stuff feels like window dressing on like a, what should be a lot broader of a platform. Yeah, they trust him on that. And also, he moved right when he was president, and people like that. It's like, oh, he, he agrees with me. Just there, there are progressives who didn't like Joe Biden. They now do. 
because of some things that he they thought he wouldn't do that he did. And there's a lot of Republicans and um, social conservatives. Now, there's individual social conservatives in Iowa, like like kingmaker religious figures who really are tired of Trump and want DeSantis to be the nominee. But they were defending Trump for four years. I mean, they, they've only turned on Trump because they're irritated by how he keeps like getting into trouble and fighting with the governor. Yeah. But if, if you ask them, like, hey, who ended Roe v. Wade? Well, that's Trump. Like, like, DeSantis can't say that. Mm-hmm. Um, but the one thing is, it's, I think it's, it's not that it's over. Um, it's just that they, they don't see a reason why like Trump would be worse than that. Again, the only thing they tried was the trans beauty pageant thing. It just like didn't make sense to people. Like yeah. you could tell them like about the Leah, Leah Thomas uh, swim thing. People were aware of that. People who care about that issue negatively were aware, aware of that. But you try when Republicans try, when DeSantis tried to tie it to the Trump, they're like, "What are you talking about? I just saw him on TV making fun of Leah Thomas. He's like had all these insults that he was flinging at her. He's right. these people like who are why, yeah, what oh, are you, he's got the transphobia covered. Damn. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, it's yeah. And I realize we're talking about this on a purely political level when all of these, right. in my opinion, people are. Uh, heinous and awful what's going on frantifa if you haven't already subscribe to this channel right now hit that button and also you can become a patron and support the show every single week get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise patreon.com slash bituation room do it